know who I am. Zandala for him. Have anything ancient to trade needs to be at least two centuries old. If you find anything exotic. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm here. I'm alive. Thank me. I'm gonna turn this music a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I, I I wanted to play a new game today. Uh, but first, I want to test out my audio a little bit with something I already have in running, which is the World of Warcraft. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Keep playing the music because I need to test if that's working. And yeah, uh, I'm trying the track six thing, which means that um, OBS will not put Do the music on the VOD, but it should be on the stream, which might be very handy in the future. I just want to make sure that's actually working. It 
isn't sexual. Uh, so yeah. Hang out for a little bit and then we'll start a real game. But uh, here's my druid. She's max level for the current expansion that she's in. Uh, I don't have the new expansion from last fall, I guess, but yeah, this is what she looks like right now. Uh, starting to look more normal. Uh, her armor is is mostly from the, the underwater-ish zone, so it's a bit weirder. Ah, I got barnacles in the cape. I didn't notice that. That's sick. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to run around, do a quest real quick see how audio is if, if anybody's in the chat wants to help me with audio that'd be great uh i just need to confirm that things are, are coming through should be three sound sources it should be wow it should be neil sisarega and it should be me Let me know. I'll taste your blood, Land Walker. here i've got a lot of mods in as you can see this isn't the world of warcraft ui this is uh elf ui which just strips out everything and replaces it with more customizable stuff um we're supposed to be going over here makeshift altar right i'm going to put this thing on there Probably a very bad idea. Strength failing. I need blood. Ah, oh, I love blood. Out of rings. The Queen Alara. My queen. I. I'm still not used to the health bar being as it is in my setup, but it works for now. I might figure some other stuff out later. Uh, oop, turn invisible. Can you see me? I don't want to fight the big guy, I guess. Uh, let's try to find some who aren't protected by a big guy. Uh, it's too far away. Hungry knife is uh queen doesn't have a progress meter up, so I don't know. Oh, actually, I'm there. There's a pop. Souls gather. Dude, that dude has to like 15 souls. Oh fuck. Go away, big guy. Uh, as you can see, I'm a feral druid, which means I spend most of my time as a cat. I, c I, could, I, I could owl leave, which means turning into a moon kid, casting a spell, and then going back to cat, basically. But that doesn't. Re it's really finicky and only gives like 2% more DPS. Find the void stone and trust The Naga seek relics of power to fuel their ritual. They intend to summon a scouring storm that will wipe this world clean. All right, I, I want to do uh, some of this still. Fanatics. I gotta do a bunch more world quests. I realize it may be disconcerting to converse with a weapon, 
Be at ease. I merely wish to see you reach your full potential. I love when a knife wants me to reach my full potential. Why, just recently I helped another mortal hero defeat the Burning Legion. My selfless sacrifice left me weakened. Sadly, that priest proved short-sighted. You, though, I sense you are truly destined for greatness. Them. We will accomplish remarkable things together. Uh, if anybody's out there, pound off in the chat and uh, let me know how the audio is working and if it's working. And can you hear me? Oh, hello, hello, uh, Mike. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm playing well while I test the audio. Can can you hear me? And can you hear uh, Lemon Demon? You hear? The, can you hear the music? No, no music. Okay. Um, Uh, can you hear if I fight this? I need to get. Okay, you can hear the game, but you can't hear. Hmm. But no, 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 none of the music I'm playing. Is that right? Oh, as long as the game audio is working, I can I can actually do what I want to do. But okay. Uh. I guess I can quit well then. Um, but yeah, game game is a bit high. That's fine. Uh, I I usually don't actually play it that loud. I just usually have a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually turn off the game and get my other game going. Uh, I can close BattleNet. The Battle Network. Uh, close my browser. Nobody is always fucking going ham. He's always in the ones and the twos. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to figure out why my audio is not going through from the music. Is this? How about now? Can you hear music now? It's quieting down, so. Okay, I, I fixed it. Hooray! I am a genius. And my mic is fine, yes, obviously. Uh, yeah, so I, hopefully what this means is that uh, audio that goes through to the, the stream doesn't necessarily go through to the VOD, and that means I can't get DMCA strike for it. I, I, I can get still get live DMCA strikes, but I can't get, um, I can't get uh, VODs taken down. Uh, so let me get... Uh, switch over to the other screen so I can get my video set up. And I can turn off this music. It's still a bit high in my, my ears, so I'm gonna... Tinker with that a bit. Oh boy, there's no volume mixer for that game. Uh, that way down. That should be better. Um, and game source. Property. Capture. And airport for alien. Um, ah, that's it. I don't know where donate went. But that'll do. Uh, all right. Welcome to an, alien, uh, an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Let's look at the credits.
Top left. What's at the top left? Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I meant on my other layout, right? Okay, so this is mostly by Xavier Z Z Nelson Jr., program designer uh, Tom Venita, Green Three Artist James Cody Lambert. Oh, Keith, Keith, 3D artist, friend of the show. Well, friend of a friend of a show, Ben Chandler. Uh, music artist Jay Lake, UI artist Dave Mix, picture designer Philippe Grin, animator Eric Bayer, actor assistant Hunter Bond, UI assistant Dan Pierce. I know Dan Pierce too. Uh, Watcher, Lake, Fussy Dog, Holly Grimazio, Trailers, Gary Kings, 3D Vending Machines, Alex Johansson, 3D Fountains, John Oxbury, Several Voxel Hands, Cool Jeffries, Level Design Consulting, Sensovers, Engineering by Skymap, QA by Ash. Uh, yeah, uh, Ben Chandler, of course, everybody knows as the, the lead artist at, um, at, uh, what, what's, Watch It Eye. Watch It Eye Games makes a lot of really good, like, pixely, uh, 2D adventure games. Working on some 3D stuff, too, as well. Uh, longtime partner of our friend, uh, uh, uh what's her face? Kelsey. Lots of, lots of lots of pets banked in this. That's good. I uh, my brain is not quite fully awake. <laughs> I I know Kelsey's name vaguely. An actual dinosaur. Wow. These credits go on for a while, and you can't quit them once you start them, which is fun. And, you know, give it its due, I guess. Did I see there's a new Majidai game came out? I need to I need to look it up now. I I, I swear I saw something, but I'm posted by uh, Dave. Uh, yeah, Strange Land is out. Uh, uh, not not developed by um, by, by Watch I, but published by them. Uh, it's, it's Strange Land looks kind of neat. Really different art style, actually, further from that one. I have to look at that later. Oh yeah, uh, Nighthawks is is developed by uh, oh Brian Buckley. I know I know Brian Buckley. That's the developer of Caves of Cud. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Nighthawks it was what I was looking forward to quite a bit because I love vampire shit because I'm a nerd. Uh, wait, where'd Lobot go? Five. Oh right, right. I know, I know where they went. I'm smart. I know, I know several things. Uh, it turned out I put them on the wrong layer. Uh, hit the button. There we go. <laughs> All right, video game. New game. Pick auto save one. Hello. Oh, what? Hello. The big hydrant. P for pet. You can pet the dog. It's the first command in the game. Can I pet the human? No. Move. Jump. Run. Interact. Scroll inventory. Use item. Throw item. Menu slash pupper decks. Hey, you remember that dog you hired to cater our anniversary? He dropped the piano on your head and locked us in a metal box. In hindsight, trusting a dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was a bit of a mistake. I don't blame you for doing it, though. But a mistake was absolutely made. Did you say he dropped the piano on my head? 
It was a seven foot tall husky, honey. It's incredibly easy for him to drop a piano on your head. Anyway, I put together this board to help you move your limbs again. You remember how to use airport works, right? You remember. You're fine. It's like I got ambushed by a seven foot tall dog caterer. <laughs> Honey, we got we got ambushed by a seven foot tall, tall dog caterer. This is not the time for selfish. I have suffered traumatic cardboard related head injury, my darling. And like yet yeah, you remember complicated words like darling. Truly, you are an inspiration to mankind. All two of us, including me. See? You already remember that we're the only two human beings left in the universe. And that if you hadn't woke up just now, I'd be all alone. Because my fiance chose to trust a massive dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, to cater our anniversary. I didn't make this giant arts and crafts project to drown my fears in cardboard and make marker fumes. You're thinking of someone else. Sorry, Krista. I'll be more careful about the giant suspicious dogs I trust in the future. Both of our sakes. Thank you. I would have missed you, weirdo. Seriously, you take flights, get a boarding pass, find your gate, find ways to pass time. Maybe throw a tennis ball at a dog, see what happens. We really do know what you're doing. Like the alien language. You can just say read it at this point, right? You were a natural. What? Ah. Uh, idea. How about we ignore potential disaster like responsible adults? Agreed. Relax for as long as you need to. This airport is undergoing renovations, so things will be quiet for a while. No one will bother you. When you're filling up for it, meet me on Beachwell. I'll be waiting in the middle of that big concourse leading to the greater lighthouse. I have to get back to my job with our dog. You know how it is. The big project can't exactly wait. Of course. I'm glad the giant piano didn't break your head. Happy anniversary. I love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. See you on Beachwell. Alright, so we're in a cage, put here by a cage dog, a dog who loves cages. Probably not that dog, that's not a husky. Oh hey, look at, look, there's airport air control towers all over the place here. Uh, alright, I have escaped the cage, puzzle solved. Oh, airplanes. Hello, Ems, love you. I'm gonna talk to this dog, wait. Oh, uh, what's up? You watch me and my fiance get kidnapped by seven foot tall dog. Listen, I am very small. I don't get involved. I see a cute anniversary dinner turn into a hostage situation and a possible concussion. I stay quiet. That seems like an abdication of responsibility. And I'm two years old, man. I don't even know what abdication means. I just want to live my quiet life, quietly watching other people get in trouble. If anyone asks, this conversation didn't happen. I want you to find justice, but I'd like that to happen without any effort on my part. You understand. Yeah, here, we're at an airport. Normal here. 1116. Oh, beautiful. Look at this pedagstrian. Petting her so much. I like how the glove changes every time. And is different. There's no way I'm going to make my flight in time. It's such a good picture. This looks like this looks a lot like Daisy when she was younger. Uh, she's very white in the face now because she's like twelve years old in a week. Ah, oh, look at you! Oh my God! You can mash that pet button. I don't get all the fuss around flying. Just think of it like a big sausage. Plain is the case, eh? and we are the meat. Don't you feel relaxed now?
Oh, a minute has passed. It's 11.17. The gate. Ah, oh, ticket dog. Uh, I definitely can't sight read this alien language. Like, oh, this probably says departures? No, it's too many letters. <laughs> that probably says, oh, this might be departures, because... No, that doesn't check out. I'm learning alien language. Oh my god. Hello, I have short term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Beachwell? Yes, and I need 50 of them. Do you wish to live dangerously? Oh my god, here you go. Enjoy your flight. I have opened the gate to the rest of the airport for you. Have a wonderful day. I got 50 boarding passes. I'm, I'm all good here. Definitely can't read this, though. Oh, this says probably gate 01, gate 02. Oh, I didn't pet that, that, but pet that dog. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I gotta go pet that dog. Alright, there you go. That is a big hydrant. That's also a big hydrant. Information desk. <gasps> this is the manager! I love you! Look at that bow tie. Greetings, I apologize that you have to see Phobos in this state. We're currently undergoing major renovations, so the next time you arrive here, things should be substantially altered. We prefer to be seen as charming, rather than, uh, broken. I'm not a typical information dog, but since Claudio still isn't here, I'll have to do. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'm gonna find the gate for my flight. Compare the alien language around you to your boarding pass. I believe you'll soon find your path. What about the signs? Oh yeah, we do have those. Use that. <laughs> Is the airport teleporter still functional? Renovations aside, absolutely. I like adventure, but I'm not a big fan of death. You should be able to teleport to a point of safety from your menu at any time, and if you fall off of the edge of one of our admittedly eccentric creations, the teleportation will occur automatically. Dog airports renovate often? In a sense, the layouts tend to remain unrecognizable, unrecogni but the stores alone change so much. Every time I go to an airport, some old favorite has to close down, a familiar state slate of storefronts has shifted, or there's some new friendly face to keep. Keeps the magic of travel alive. That constant change within a familiar, com comfortable package is what made me want to work in airports. And here I am. What's up the fire hydrant? Actually, don't know. It certainly is large. Claudio, our usual information dog, will probably be able to provide more contacts the next time you decide to visit our, our corner of the universe. I can't know where to go. Do your trip, and don't be a stranger. Look at my ticket. You're a good boy. This is sure a normal airport. Hey! I'm back in the cage when I teleport, I guess. Makes sense. Wouldn't want me running around undeterred by, uh, what's his face? Okay, my time to leave is 1333, so I got lots of time on my boarding pass. It looks like we're at gate one. Yeah. You can look at this museum. Picture of a lady. Art. More art. <gasps> Is this a photo booth? Cheek. Uh. Is that me? Cheek. 
No, that's not me. Yeah, it's a different photo each time. Oh, this is how you... I see. <laughs> she never gives me pictures of a dog. Great, actually. It's locked. Oh, am I in television? Whoa! You! Look! Incredible! I'd have to take a picture, but we've all got places to go. We had cool things to do, man. You need a red passport, though. You can use my photo booth. All I need is a fancy bottle of toilet water. You know. For a good reason. I don't have a fancy bottle of toilet water. I'll come back when I do. I'll see you later, gorgeous buddy friend. Love this dog. Oh, I got Interac here. Got my boarding pass. Dog Parader here. Who do you like to call? I like to call my mom, thanks. You got it. Sorry, sir. That number seems to be out of service. Alright. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Dog Parader. Alright, all humans are dead, except for us. Uh, Crystal Marshall, please. You got it. I've hit her voicemail. Do you like to hear it? Yeah, it'd be nice to hear from her again. Prepare for a little distortion, sir. This does have to pass through do through dog wavelengths. Stand by. Hi. You're calling this number. You're probably not a dog. Even dogs are for texting to a phone call. So to my fiance. Hey, weirdo. I love you. And for what it's worth, I'm glad you called. I'll be back soon. Now you say it first this time. Love you, weirdo. Oh. Well, I got rid of my excess items. At 11.24, we still got lots of time. Oh, the hydrant room. Don't want to use that. Human toilet. <gasps> toilet paper! Fun. <gasps> Alright, I wanted some fancy bottled toilet water. Do I have... I don't have a bottle, though. Haiku for dogs. It describes the taste of bone. Award-winning work. Alright, I didn't check here. Cabinet shop. Cabinet dog. I'm gonna cut to the chase. I got a lot of cabinets, and by a lot I mean every single single cabinet I could find. For years I've done this. I'm a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets, and I have created this ocean because I am Poseidon, and I don't know what this metaphor means anymore, but I'm still talking. Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please save me from my cabinets. Buy a cabinet. Buy several cabinets. Buy cabinets. Why look at a sunset? It's just beautiful. But do you need to look at all the sunsets? That is a very good point. I really, really like cabinets. I'll take one of the cabinets off your hands. Oh, well, take more, but I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know if I can save you. We're both doing the best that we can. That's all that we can do. Thank you. I take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. I, I got a genuine cabinet. I got toilet paper. I got a boarding pass. Cabinet dog is doing the best. <gasps> Premium water dispenser, artisanal. There you go. Welcome to the back end. I'm saying that because butts are on the back of your body. I've been told that's extremely funny. Oh, I see what you're thinking. You want to drink from your own toilet bowl, don't you? I'll consider this a home away from home. A place to forget your troubles. Stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap. 
of, of premium toilet water and laugh that sucker up. What can I get you, my friend? What varieties of toilet water do you recommend? Ooh, wow, well, you basically can't go wrong where toilet water is involved. But I prefer a modern bowl paired with an aged reservoir. It's your taste with modern edge, that's a good stuff, buddy. You could always drink from the bathroom, but where's the fun in that? Where's the ambience, man? That's why I like working here. You see a thousand faces, and they're all happy to see you. Because you care about the same thing. Also, they're dogs. That's a valuable perspective. I really appreciate it. You stick a do my good, my friend. You enjoy that premium toilet water now. Oh, an ATM. <gasps> all with all the bills, y'all. And money. I got all bills and money. Alright, who won the toilet water? I'm over at the at the photo booth. It's so good again to see you again, my gorgeous buddy friend. How are you? I got the fancy to bottle of toilet water you want. Oh, awesome! I will put this too. <laughs> Very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby. All right, let's get a passport photo. Check. Got a passport. Got stacks of cash. Got a cabinet. Got toilet paper. Got a boarding pass. <gasps> yeah, people mover. Doesn't work. Doesn't move me. 1129, we still got time. Listen, you don't have to smell each other's butts. We can just walk away. This is my gate, I think. Hello, dog. Quiet isn't here yet. It's closed. You know when the gate will be ready? Penn usually gets to here about 90 minutes before takeoff. Sometimes more, sometimes less. I'm on guarantee wait as long as it takes. My job, I wait. And there are ways to go to get time to go faster. So does other stuff. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I don't want to skip through time. Why would I? I know what comes next. About my 90 minutes from takeoff, right? I'll see you then. Probably not. But that's a good thing. Oh, time accelerator room. Oh, Camilla. Oh, have you visited a time zone before? Don't think so. Not a problem. They knew something just means you can reveal a new piece of yourself in the process. The time zone is a pocket of assorted time space. You tuck within three lazy walls, so so we aren't flayed by the unleashed forces of entropy. Step inside and you can watch time fly by. Literally, it goes so fast. Well, that sounds great and terrifying. But these things are very true. I said it's actually safe to do somehow, so we aren't going to question it. Enjoy and have a fantastic time. That was a good one, girl. Good girl. I wish I knew the Indian language. <gasps> wow, human things. Human souvenirs. Okay. Oh, it's a changing room. That was another photo booth. <gasps> Hello, clerk dog. I have an employee discount, but what am I supposed to spend it on? I can't wear anything here. I'll take one. Shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling here. You sell shoes. Glass delicacy. The good stuff. I'll take one of... Do you think they would go well with the rest of my outfit? Or I appreciate the trust. But I know absolutely nothing about the concept of clothing or fashion. I'm a dog who works retail. Oh, this makes sense. Fair enough. Dog. Wait, this one also says gate. Um, oh. Ah, 
Ah, this one is mine because it has the same disc. Oh wait, no, this is 1320, so this is a different plane. Pet a dog. Pet is here, gives clothes. Anyways, isn't the flight always here? If we discount the time exists, yes. Otherwise, the attendants get here about 10 minutes before we take off. Are you waiting too? I'm always waiting, pal. I know it's going to be eventually. No one escapes, not really. Uh, guess that's all that's in this airport. Okay, my boarding pass is for 1333, and that's this one. So. We've traveled through time. <gasps> you dogs. Hello, your plane is ready to take off, but I'll need your red passport first. Here's my passport. That wraps things up. Unfortunately, this isn't the passport you need. But Photoshop, I know the matter. He'd be delighted to help you. How about this one? Fantastic. That's all I need. You've already turned in your boarding pass. You should be able to fly. Have an excellent day. Five is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass and we'll get going. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, they know what you're doing. Here's my boarding pass. Thank you for trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. Your one job is to bear witness and you are helping. Make sure you've supplied whatever my associate needs and please have a wonderful flight. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about this drunk pilot, but here we go. Dude. Dude. I'm so full, dude. Hey, before getting on the plane. Hey, hey while I was on the plane. You know when I said I had to go to the bathroom earlier? I sneak into the pilot flight attendant cabinet cam thing. I chomp down on 87 packages of peanuts before they stop me, dude. I can't save you one, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. That is so uncool of me. Are you going to be okay? You know how many times I've been this full? So many times. I'm gonna ride the full wave to full holla. The halls of warriors who are full. And also Vikings. You know how much I love Vikings, dude? Oh, love Vikings. This much. You have a favorite Viking? Let me be real with you, dude. I know nothing about Vikings, except that they were rad, and occasionally they got really into pillaging. Which is something I identify with strongly when I get hungry and think of betraying my morals to just gorge myself on some crunchy goodness wrapped in plastic. I feel so guilty about the peanut thing, dude. Make a deal. Can I atone? Okay, yes, let's make a deal. Let, let's atone at the whiz whoop. Listen. Buddy. Pal. Friend. You say the word, and I will spew peanuts all over this chair. And we can split them, dude. There. Yes, I feel very good about this plan. Can't believe I'm considering this. Can't quite forget this, dude. Believe me, case even better the second time. Can't get up. I can only talk to my neighbor. Realistic, honestly. That up a bit. Oh, this is a different airport. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. It beats well. Hello. I have short term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to test the elf planet? Yes, please. There you go. Very flight. Oh, uh, Pepper Dex. Krista, brilliant scientist, listening to Mothcore. Patient Beachwell. Surprised Krista with a catered diner. I'm surprising Krista with a catered diner at our next meeting, courtesy of Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages. It's a bit intimidating, but I think Krista will love it. No, this is suspicious at all. Just had to remind me uh, how my basic motor functions work. Oh, uh, fall. Yay, three, three months. months. That's, about, that's the first three months, sub. 
How's it going, Fall? Had to remind me of how basic motor, motor functions work after Cage Dog caught us in a cage. Should have seen that coming. We're supposed to reconnect in the Beachwell Airport on the main concourse by the medical clinic. Five pages of dogs, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Ooh. The void, plane, 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 plane. Great bulldog. This is one we met. Elf plant, Patsville, Uranus, Mar Marinara Trench, Beachwell. Lobos. A lot of dogs and dog decks. Thank, thanks so much for the sub, Paul. Your support is greatly appreciated. God, this place looks cool. I just want to walk around that whole area. I, I do. Time is it? Where's the clock? Garbage can. Oh my god. I see the world of black and white. Also pink. Just... Get every uh Don't worry, you haven't been missing too many streams because I've only done one in the last like three weeks, which is, has I'm trying to correct because the world of Warcraft has gotten to me. Uh, nothing else up here, right? Oh, there's an elevator. I see. That's what I saw moving. Oh, pool. Oh. Oh. Plant store. Oh no, I'm ruining my passports by being in the water, I think. Oh wait, no, these are my old passports. Never mind. This game is way bigger than I thought it was, because there's like a bunch of planets. So I probably won't reach them all tonight. Flower dog. You like flowers? I like flowers. Look in the orchids. Friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you're not okay, I'd be delighted to sell you one. However, if you simply like the smell of flowers for free, I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know? What's your favorite flower smell? Oh, sunflowers are my favorite by far. Sniff long enough and hard enough, your nose will get really hot. If you keep sniffing, the seeds will fly out of the flowers up your nose and into your mouth. You'll hack up a bit. Keep the seeds from getting in your lungs. So now you've got all these sunflower seeds roasted by your nose heat, just sitting in your mouth, and you can just chew away. Thanks for the uh, tip. Sharing the knowledge where I can. Thanks for, thanks for asking, buddy. Uh, yeah, this dog has like a, 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 a cape jacket thing with a hood. 2.16, we got till 5, so to wander. Usually. Holy shit, this dog is so strong. I like exercise, but fear treadmill is on a visceral level. It's like running, but it never stops. Who would make something like that? Uh, wow, I can I can swim, basically. This looks, like, this looks like Sonic the Hedgehog area, honestly. Check where was in the palm tree. Oh, they're cold. I just want someone to acknowledge that archery owes to the Noble Arch for its popularity today. You're right, man. What do I got here? Oh, a cow. Texas dog. Tell him welcome to High Stakes, named after a delightful mascot, Roger. You can see him from a very thin thread directly above us. This is clear, Rod. Roger is very much alive. I'm from New Jersey. How can I help you? 
Roger's the owner. Roger's a bovine entrepreneur and performance artist. One day he looked in the mirror and realized that he was made of meat. We're all made of meat. Also he realized that he dangled himself from the ceiling of a nice restaurant slash squeaky toy supplier. He called the business high stakes. The rest is history. Huh, I guess I'll try one of those squeaky toys. Enjoy! Go Brooklyn! Lobot. I'm gonna banish Lobot real quick. Banish. Oh, he is dangling from a from a a, a, a string. Hey, want another meat flavored meat scented meat like squeaky toy? Sure do. Joy, go Brooklyn. I don't need to. I need to throw these in the trash when I get a chance. Morning passes. Oh, haberdasher. I ha I sure have a lot of boarding passes, huh? Bunnies. Birds. Cats. Chicken. Ah, oh, magic dog. Presto, I've got a customer. Hi there. How many customers do you have? Rude deduction. However, to trade your all extremely evident, extreme external evidence, I am very popular. I'll take your word for it. I appreciate it. I'm really not prepared to question my existence today. Oh, again, more magic needs? Yes, I need to become very magic. Let me just check our stock in. Yep, still magic. Have a wonderful day. Magic wand. Holy shit. Incredible. What's this? Uh, another photo of the booth? Yes. Check. <gasps> Check. Cool. Of that. We are the last humans, after all. Oh, uh, finally a garbage can. Throw out my old boarding passes. Which I took too many of. I got some. Oh, wait, no, we still got more. Okay, well, finally three of them. What toilet paper? Yummy. Yeah, another, another toilet. Oh, the hydrant. Anything in here? No, not really. Just another bathroom. Go up the stairs, I guess. We've been here, right? Yes, this is the store. Wait, no, we haven't. This is new. Oh, it's a, is there, are these records? Cool. Headphones, speakers. Anxious dog. Oh. What's up? I don't anything to ask. Just don't tell my boss that I peed on the headphone tree. It's me. In that case, puppy school, I cheated on the obedience test. When I was 11, I stole a fire truck. I have seven false passwords and a speaking toy in my closet, ready to go if the lock hatches up with me. Sometimes I fart when I'm talking to a customer, and they don't say excuse me because I'm hoping they didn't notice. But it was really loud, so they absolutely noticed. And there's a hitch in conversation where we are both forced to act. Knowledge that I'm a coward who pretends not to have a butt to save myself with 0.2 seconds of embarrassing confession. Not sure I love my wife anymore. <laughs> also, I'm a dog. I think that last one is a biggie, to be honest. 
I need more secrets. I'm good now. I have no more secrets. I'm invincible. Still some music? Oh, yes. Welcome to Cryptid Karaoke. Only supernaturally themed record shop that I know of. Our selection is currently entirely Mothman themed. I hope we can get to talk of Slide Rock Bolter album soon. Very new stuff. The kids love it. I'll take one of those Mothman albums. Fantastic. Mothman appreciates your support. Holy shit. Oh, he's farting up a storm. Hey, you want an album? Actually, can you tell me the lyrics for all these songs? Mothman, you don't have to follow the red light. Those days are over. You don't have to carry bodies into the night. No, no. I'm not a good singer, but I try. You can hear someone say, okay, it's the same song. Mothman, our last, we see each other playing. Monsu, you'll never fly again. That always gets me. I see a black room and I want it filled with light. No lampshades anymore, I want it to turn white. They see me fly away dressed in my Mothman clothes. I have to close my eyes and pray the darkness goes. Songs from the sick of the Mothman, which I try not to think about. Mothman, Mothman, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should see the world. You're dangerous, the bug lights. I'm going to make that tremble and the boy swinging morning the Mothman. I don't know what that's like. Pack it up, pack it in, and we'll let Mothman begin. Man can't win, battle him, it's a sin. I don't think I'm not great of a rapper either. Mothman, do you think they'll drop the bomb? Mothman, do you think they'll like this song? Mothman, do you think they'll try to chew my bones? Left my Mothman in El Segundo, left my Mothman in El Segundo, left my Mothman in El Segundo. I gotta get him, I gotta, gotta get him. The thing is, I tried looking for an El Segundo spaceport. There isn't one. Hey, you want an album? Who's flapping down the streets of the city, screaming at everybody who he sees? Who just gets in the last of the sunlight? Everyone knows it's Mothman. I almost got saved for that last line. Slander. Mothman, I forgot about you. Left me alone. Fragment, you know it, baby. I identify with this song a lot. How many songs are there? Moth is a man who thinks he's fly and is known as Lep Lepidoptera. Always talking about what he wants, but just sits on his fine ass. <laughs> I'm not sure why the singers thought we need another quality of the math Mothman's butt, but that's a song. That's a song. How many songs do you think there are in this? But did you know that when it snows, your eyes become large and the light that you crave can be seen. Mothman, I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. I love this ballad. See what we got. You better shape up. Because I need a moth, and I think the man is you. Not the best musical ever, but it's a crowd pleaser. Ooh, baby. You know what that's worth? We'll make the Mothman a god on Earth. I'm told my management to clarify the Crypto Karaoke LC does not have and never has. I plan to enthrone the Mothman as the undisputed god king of the known cosmos. I hear the laughs are coming, they're coming around the bend. <laughs> 
I ain't seen the Moth Man since. I don't know when. I think I like the Moth Man's absence. Plays no role in the likelihood of his return. That's great. It starts when the earth shakes, birds and lamps and fire plans, and the Moth Man's not afraid. Probably some the last three songs. Think about the inevitable rise of an immortal Mothman, implicitly supported by cryptic karaoke LLC is pure luck. You gotta trust me on this. If you gotta be my moth lover, you've gotta be a Mothman. <laughs> Simple, straightforward, honest. This is how you set boundaries in a relationship. There's a moth that's been on my mind all the time. Mothman Studio. Uh, we had a lot of Mothman songs, huh? But no one told you Mothman's gonna be this way. Up, 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 up. See? Now it's stuck in my head again. I have any more Mothman songs to tell you about. You ever heard the entire track list? And to be honest, I'm real proud of you right now. Wow, I did it! You got through all of them. Goodbye, Anxious Dog. I love you. Alright. I think that means we can go up here now. Yeah, there's the buff dog. <sighs> Spent a lot of time underwater, and I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's 2.24.29. We got tons of time. Holy shit. Bananas and toilet paper store. Hello, baby. Welcome to the toilet paper and banana store. You ask me why we sell those two things, I'll tell you. They always ask. Okay, why do you sell those two things together? Oh, well, that's easy. It's a foolproof business plan. Bananas are for eating. That's the difference for what comes after. I'm talking about poop. A banana for me. Sorry, we don't have bananas. They're all for on display. I get some toilet paper? My dear friend, I'd be delighted to give you some toilet paper. Cool. Nope, I can see you again. That's so nice. But, I'm running any business. I don't have to ask you to leave. Okay. Damn, I can't get a banana. What is this? What is this, Nazi Germany? Luggage store? I hate briefcases! I hate them, I hate them, I hate them! I hate buckles and fairy locks and rough panels and weird materials they put on the outside to get messed up as soon as you use them. I mean, come on, man. I love customers. Welcome to the briefcase outlet. No, for my feelings about briefcases and the method of continue distributing them into the world against my better judgment. Why don't you, uh, stop selling briefcases? I can subject anyone else to this life. I do so that others may not. That was bargain, and I've tried to, tried to make these with it. Makes sense. Just don't tell my kids. You yeah, have my word. Alright, briefcase. I do not recommend it, but I cannot stop you. Actually, can I use the briefcase outlet to express my feelings about briefcases too? Of course! Now, this is your outlet. Friend, speak your truth about briefcases. Man, I just. I just. I hate briefcases. So much. It doesn't even make sense. It's bad too, cases. On, or I you less versatile first. Dude. I'm so proud of you right now, dude. I don't buy a briefcase. I don't recommend it, but I can't stop. I do not believe in brief briefcases, but I will take one. I perpetuate oblivion. Marble briefcase. <laughs> Skateboards, hell yeah. <gasps> That's sick. Yo, Chad. Chad Shakespeare. My dude. Dude. I got I got to get a picture of Chad Shakespeare on Twitter real quick.
Horses, my dude, and welcome. Bad guys roam across the base, bearing to my board. Let me know how I can help. On skateboard, my good dog. Bizarre, the skateboard is my fantastic friend. Please remember to wear knee pads. I do not wish for thy rad buttocks to be wounded. Bro, oh, once again, I am honored to have your visage smile upon me and stuff. How are you? I'm well, Chad. I always good to see you. Take care of I himself, buddy. Safe the board to be sparked. Board is on journey. Currently, hath not hath need of an internal grind, and it is not a place to judge it. Also looks very cool, which lessens my sense of danger. I sure hope this is not a situation I come to regret. Bro! Chad, take care. <gasps> Holy shit! Can't actually skateboard, but I do have a skateboard. Another clothes shop? I, thought, I haven't played discount, but I don't know. I can't wear anything here. I'll take one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling here. You sell shoes. Buy stuff, you see? The good stuff. Like one of the good stuff. Excellent choice. Boots. Nom, nom, nom. I just ate the boots. Oh. One thing that understands me is the rain. It is wet, dubiously productive, and spiraling downwards at an incredibly fast rate. Yeah, dude. Often I consume with thoughts of vengeance. But I mean, I'm very tired. Good, good, good boy. Hey, another another bug in the store. So there's replicas of the shops. Stuff. Oh, what's this? Uh. Uh. Huh. Orbo. Welcome to Orb. We saw Orb. We are Orb. And of course, Orb is. Orb is. How can Orb inhabit your life today, my friend? Suppose I need Orb. Certainly do need Orb. How observant of you. Enjoy Orb. Orb certainly enjoys you. Orb is. What is Orb exactly? Orb is. Everything you are. Everything you were. Everything you will be. It's Orb, man. It's all Orb. Orb is. Orb the Void? Are we standing inside Orb right now? Ah, that's a good question, man. You're a funny guy. Are you standing inside Orb? Classic. Partially, orb is the moment. I'll see you later, pal. Oh, keep the rain off. Fire is extremely little shade. It is functionally useless, but I love this hat so much. Oof. My deck's doing. I've only met one NPC. I guess these are just the dogs that you meet at the airport or at the um mostly on the planes. <gasps> oh, aren't you handsome? <laughs> Melancholy a sad dog or am I overthinking? Beach Bowl Airport. I'm Claudia, and yes, this is airport is very vaporwave. Please don't ask any further questions about it. What's a uh, vaporwave? Okay, I guess we're done. You know how sometimes you like 
Do like learning how to juggle and studying well, class bar. Maybe start an electronic band named Welcome Wagon. A few minutes later, you're like, and I'm really glad I only did one of those uh, three things. Some people, at that moment where they realize they almost made several bad decisions, comes 12 years from now after they made several bad decisions. That's Vaporwave. Wow. I'm going to send this to Therara. Uh, my good friend, Vectroid, uh, Vectroid Live on Twitch, uh, who, uh, is also known as Macintosh Plus, uh, uh, ma made a well-known Vaporwave album. Green, big green sands from the airport. Gate rush. Where the fuck is it? I can help you with. Oh, the, oh, the airport has a bunch of stores, but I recommend the Cornucopia. Big group of shops overlooking the city. There are signs with a ridiculous camera. Uh, anything else I can help you with? There's a boarding gate at the end of here. How do I use it? What oh, boarding gate? Hey, listen, you know. Have a great day. Um, I'm almost here if you need something else. I've got so much time. Also, this airport is huge. Paul? Oh, Sandy. Balls, balls, balls! What we sell, that's what I love. Tennis balls are our most popular item. Want one? Have another type of ball? We think. No. I didn't have the one tennis ball. Right, catch. Just know how it goes. It's a good one. Hello, balls on your mind? Not right now, man. You know. Well, you know where I am if you need some balls into your life. Take care. We got, ooh. A, a book labyrinth. Huh. Book dog. Hello, Frederick. Oh, hey. You got through me. That's neat. I got a book to get back, but uh, I'm happy to help if there's something I can help with. Pick the coolest book you have. Oh, that's a pretty easy pick. It's a book I'm reading right now. It makes copies of itself when I'm not looking. Probably a bad thing, I assume. It may be kind of sort of infected with dark magic. Watch out for that, okay? Cool. For a book? Let me sing it. I'm fine just now. I'll return to my own book then. Take care. I should probably, uh, throw this in the trash, right? Another record store. Listen, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell my boss that I peed on the headphone tree. Alright, you want uh, some music? Oh, yes. Remember, secrets are all we have. Alright, oh, there's a place with a record player. And I have a Mothman. Space door, space door. Gorby! Hi, nice to meet you. This is a gift shop. A uh, space themed one. Want a souvenir? Sure, I'll a souvenir. Thanks. Here you go. Actual gun! <laughs> oh, hi again, friend. Want a souvenir? Just hand me a gun? What do you mean? Give me a gun, Gorby. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Hmm. I'm not scared for some reason. I can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear, it's almost like I'm looking inside you. Are you scared? A bit, Barbie. Well, I hope you're doing okay, otherwise. You know, accidents happen. Not helping, Garby. Oh, hi, good friend. Want a souvenir? Yes, I do. It's for you, after all. Actual gun. <laughs> Put that away. It'll look dangerous. Oh. I wish I had thumbs. Same man. 
same. So does. Real good, Papa. Same picture. Cheek. Yeah. Cheek. Oh no, these are different. Cheek. I wonder if this guy needs a lamp as well. store, I mean music store. God, it's airport is huge. Record store, big store, giant store. Give me medical attention. <laughs> Settle down, buddy. I save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save, I'd be happy to help. That's what you need today. Can you uh, save me? Absolutely. Let me just take a look here. And done. Your progress isn't saving. By progress, I mean life. I both think kid. This is probably from fighting in the wars. Which wars, old timer? Yeah, there was one more that I missed, but that's just because I overslept and everything and I forgot to turn on their alarm. That was a sleep horse, so I guess we won that. Either way. You okay? Oh yeah, never was in any danger considering I was padding a 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super man. But Jack needs the mainframe that lies beneath all things to destroy the evils that hunt our soft and vulnerable reality takes a grim toll. I think I might go into restaurant management. What'd you call your restaurant? 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. And sons. <laughs> then you have to think about restaurant and the end of all things. The dog's trio. <laughs> there are dragons all over the place if you know where to look. I've, I've become very good at not knowing things. <laughs> A lot going on in this airport. Canada dog! Oh, hey, buddy. Probably wondering why your boarding costs past igloos and fun little whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? Before you turn around or in your blank. Because of me. Sorry about that. I'm Janitor dog. My parents were very literal. Not so much working here as working in every instance of an airport across 274 known galaxies. I said I was the ideal candidate, so I dared them to clone me, and they did. Worked out pretty great. I have to clean it up though? You didn't take pride in the job well done. If all, all your shenanigans were left flopping around, it might pose a hazard to existence as a little bit. A little duty, a little bit puppy sitting. Don't have until it's all to drain yourself to drink out of when you need a quiet spell, like any other job I'd imagine. Five jobs haven't been like that, but it does have pleasant. Nice gig if you can get it. Yeah, fine now, don't worry about making too much of a mess. 
I have very probably dealt with worse, and you're a pretty cool person. Get your up. I'll take care of now. Okay, we're back at the start. We finally looped around. This one's the record store? Yeah, it is. Or the record player, rather. Rock math, not bad record. That doesn't work. Okay. It's worth a try, especially since I was looking for lamp. It'd be better to have a lamp than Mothman. Should try and find Krista. <gasps> you made it! And your memory seems fully intact now. Congratulations! How can you tell? Your eyes, just a weary appearance in them, and I appreciate you have been empathized with greatly. I think it might accelerate time when you're running on the thing. Glad you drove my existential terror. I think about us missing each other. I can't use the phone because of security around the big project. Aren't dogs orders, you know how it is. I'm always scared that one day I'm going to show up to a meeting too, too late. You won't be there and we'll never find each other again. Big universe. Can't miss each other yet. If you come close, even a little late because of flight delays. I've been thinking about getting back to work because I'm always thinking about getting back to work. And you seem to fire me just before I enter my gate. Get a little piece of time together and I board. Wonder if any of this works. And we're engaged. God, how did that happen? My job it feels like I'm always the one here. I don't know. Maybe it's easier for you. Do you remember when we woke up? Eh, yeah, I do. I have been dating for two weeks. We woke up, woke up surrounded by dogs. Apparently, there were aliens at some point as well. We missed that part. What about it? The world that operates on entirely different worlds than the ones we've used. You're used to. We still found life. That's why I stayed, you know. I mean, I think you're cute. But I could do without a relationship. I'm fulfilled. Dogs provide three free therapy, which is rad. To be quite for me, that we woke up at a point in time where he was basically didn't exist. And you didn't take our relationship for granted. You didn't try to repopulate the galaxy. Take for granted that I'd stay. You just wanted me to. I knew I liked you, but when we became literally the only humans alive and you were still trying to win my heart, that's what I knew. I loved you. Wonder that what we have works, but it works. There are small slices of time, but we get it. Yeah, this works. How we go to the Mar Marinara Trench next? I could use the change of pace. I might do it. Alright, maybe at the Marinara Trench in Terminal 2. Remember correctly, you'll need to take a tram to reach it. Love you, weirdo. Love you, weirdo. Okay. Morning, Kara. Hi. I saw ice cones, which are made of a bunch of tiny flavored pieces of a frozen water that make you your tongue cold and your brain. Cold. Want one? I'd love a stra strawberry. Cone, My pleasure. A strawberry flavored ice cones. Right up. Enjoy. Hum nom nom. So I think food makes me faster too. I should probably figure out which boarding pass is, is correct. Even though I still have a lot of airport to explore, so. And I don't have a passport. So we're at 5.08 is our departure time. Yo, this guy's huge. <laughs> probably on vacation next week. Maybe life waits in a slightly different location. I think so. So we need to find the terminal, it's 508. Pilot dog, so drunk. Love sick dog. Hi, they're gone, man. I wonder if they without them. Every time they enter my mind, I feel all hot and bothered inside of me. If you can hear this button, it's really for entering the plane, but I'm really not feeling up to it. Alright. Wish someone somewhere, some friend, would splash some cold water in my face or something. Pick me out of this funk and the culty of a lovely memory. Trying to splash you. Let's see what I can do. Don't have anything splashable? Ah, oh, this is my pet boarding location anyway. I do it. It's 508. None of these ones. 
I'm gonna be honest, I'm completely lost right now. Later, Mike. Have a good one. Uh, I probably won't go so much longer. <gasps> Lab store. Awesome. What the light show? I shook me as a chandelier type of guy. Is that right? Not really. They're big guys. They're covered in sharp glass and dangled above our head. Of course they're guys. Matter of public safety. Ever imagine a stealth chandelier? Have you considered the horror? Oh, this is new and exciting thing to be terrified of. Don't be scared. Use your profound, newfound knowledge to be, do something productive, like warn other people about chandeliers or buy a lamp for me. Firstly, I recommend doing both. A human, want a lamp you can throw or use for decoration or something? Yep. Enjoy. Very, wow, that's bright. Ooh, I should go to the void place. Skater. Music. Coffee shop. This is called Coffee Boy, and I did the coffee stuff. Got an order? Isn't coffee poisonous for dogs? You and the heart racing, and the flesh skin, and the dry eyes, and the urchiness everywhere? Because that's what it does to humans. We're really truly honest with ourselves. None of us should be drinking this. And a latte. One, one pump, two shots of espresso. I don't care about this one. Hmm, a little tricky. Oh, look, I did it. The medium coffee. Umbrellas. Full umbrella. Oh, you're tall one. I bet you get rain a lot with your head all in the sky like that. Want an umbrella? Absolutely. Want an umbrella? You get an umbrella. Good luck out there. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Hey, I've seen a picture of you. David Bowie. Oh, hi there. I'm just looking at this poster. How has your day been so far? Can't complain. Oh, that's nice. I hope you take good care of yourself. I uh, need to get off the world. Try to be fast. Your troll is nice, but just a giant beach. Only one ball. And too big to even play with. Nightmare for so many reasons. I know this is a big question to ask. We just made each other, but can you give me a red passport? I'd do it myself, but Photo Dog won't let me inside after I said his glasses look silly. Wait, you know how to read that poster? I sure can. Just replace the letters. The poster says, Do not trust this dog. This dog specifically. Do not be trusted. Please, do not trust this dog. Oh man, that isn't very nice at all. Why does this poster say that you can't be trusted? Legal bones. I've got a bunch of them, and I'm happy to share. They're legal, so, uh, I'm kind of banned from everything. You're a good dog, Danny Tony. Thank you. Something vibrates inside your skull. Cool. Oh. Oh, 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 I said darkness. I swore the inky black with my teeth and poured it into the greater infinite. If I make my friends cry, I'll bark your damn face off. Hot dog. No, not very gothy, sorry. The worst of the goth dogs have done a lot to make sure I feel like I belong, though. Got together for a doom metal knitting session where we made a bunch of coats for hairless prids living on polar planets. I so full, I don't understand their fashion. I just want to be like them when I grow up, man. Dogs are so goth. Took you long enough to get here. We know each other? No. Your fiance came here, though. Sleep out of deprivation. My crew pulled her through the portal. I was supposed to sleep on it. over 14 hours. That's normal. She talked about you when she woke up. We have something very special there. 
We believe the dark is unyielding. Our God will bark at it anyway. You need us. We're already here. Virtual. Oh, good. I crossed both of these a couple of days, years ago. How many will identify them? Can be covered to use. Get that to someone who can research it properly. I don't particularly care what the results are, but I figure someone deserves to know. It's really soon to be asking for a favor. Hey, life is short for some people. I have to let someone else to finally figure out this mystery so I can take a nap. Where did that human heart go? It, uh, bounced away. Yeah, they're in there. No one needs multiple alien hearts, unless they're in England. Had to be nice, but what's buried in this graveyard? Two toys. There's so much joy in their, in their lives. It's only right that they receive the recognition in their death. I know a little sheep named Mittens. Fair music these days. Doesn't mean we can't be better. Like a lot of dogs, and the class of dog punk bands in particular are taking that for granted. And I used to be into the Howl's dog version, is one of the classic, and Park Against the Machine has one of the songs I identify with. I feel like they've gotten kind of soft these days. That mission is fine, we're dogs for be sick. We actually care about dogs. It's frustrating. Off. Don't get complacent, buddy. Uh, I lost the alien heart. Again. Got it. Uh, I wonder if this guy likes. This guy would like this music. Whoa, this dog is cool. My girlfriend says I'm emotionally distant. You know what? She's right. I'm working on it. That's wearing button me in mind to become a better version of yourself. It's the most goth thing I can think of. Alright, back to the portal. <laughs> David Boney. I forget what David Boney wanted. Oh, right, he wanted a red password. Drum kit. Drum Rocky. Oh, hey. Say the word, and I'll put a guitar in your hands faster than it takes you to realize that you uh, like the idea of playing an instrument more than actually playing. I can't, of course, unless you know this pain. You know what? I'll give the guitar a try. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Holy shit. Store, record store, and the bookstore. Oh, bed store. I said Eddie. I said Eddie, and oh boy, I have bed for you. Practically giving my beds here. Learn to go. Oh, it's fun to have. Give one of these beds just once. Like five hours go by instantly. Do you feel rested? No. Will you feel happy? Absolutely not. But you sure did use a bed. You're here for a bed, my friend, and exhausted Eddie can, can give you what you want. I have not here for a bed. You have invoked a deep, inviting fear in the best of exhausted He's feeling it. The best of Eddie is really feeling it. The dark times are coming, and they aren't going to stop. Okay, Eddie. Let's go from 1 to 10, exhausted Eddie can't tell. I'm going to choose their door. You come back if you decide you want to bet, okay? Can't wait to see you again. Just uh, 
sister still told me about why she stayed after we woke up in a dog filled world. It was sweet, unexpected though. Still bring. I think she has a lot of on her mind. I suggest that we meet at the Marinetta French next in Terminal 2. I'll have to take a tram. Oh, she likes listening to Mothcore now. Right. Briefly a politician. Hobby translating alien script. Infamous space is stranded in the vacation center of the universe. David Boney needs a password to get off Beachwell. Unfortunately, he can't get the password himself because he accidentally insulted Photo Dog. Look to self. Don't insult Photo Dog. I guess I should find all the Beachwell dogs, right? They got veteran dog, the former pilot of a 30,000 pound cybernetically and has super mech. Now plans to start a restaurant. Good for him. Hot dog one. Air flying away the voters to protect against friends. Goth dog two. He's trying to live up to the fervent loving example of the goth dog is random. I'm just so proud of him. Goth dog number three. They're working to reduce their emotional distance from the people they love. Good for them. Hardcore dog. Hardcore and cool as heck. Barking for a better world. Found a vault full of alien hearts that he wants me to investigate. Uh, let's see, one more. Two more. Body have the information dog at Beachwell Airport. So yeah, there's like three more air dogs here. <laughs> Enjoy the password photos. Giant baby. Cheek. Cheek. Password for David Boney. And zoom over here. Wow, thank you. Thank you. You changed my life. You're like, you'd like an eagle. Leave the loom. Please let me know. I'm happy to share. I hope we see each other again. Welcome back. I haven't quite left the twelve yet. Anything I can do for you? I need bones. That's exactly what you're talking about. You didn't ask the bones eagle when you found it. Yeah, go eagle bone. Now I need to find some toilet water so I can get my own passport. That's the side with like a big shopping plaza. I need a lighthouse over here. Talk to you, I forget. Yeah, can only be so fluffy worse before I start getting suspicious. I spent so much time looking for analysis that I didn't ask myself whether I was ready to be a good analysis. You gotta ask yourself the important questions. Bones. Ah. Uh, by the wire. I mean, on this boarding pass. I the 508. 508, 508, 508. None of these ones. Ah. Uh, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not the successful Caucasian businessman known as Kevin Williamson III with two ex wives and four children I see on Ultra Weekend. I have a dog named Rodney trapped in a man's body. Ah, help me, help me, help me. I don't want to be a human being anymore. Ah. How can I help? The bab Dabba Yav dog cursed me. She probably had a good reason. I don't know. All I know is my human business associate and, that, and thinks I can reverse the curse of having ingredients. We mix the right stuff in the right order and I'll be a dog again. A beautiful dog with beautiful fur and the ability to poop wherever I want without feeling bad about it. So, can you. Get me a can of scarlet bovine soda. Start the process. Maybe fix me first. Maybe. Oh, okay. I don't have any scarlet bovine. Oh, that's easy to fix. Get some. All right. Let's just zoom up here. No, there's nothing here right now. Need to find that soda.
Okay, yeah, that, that's making me run past you, but only for the, the distance of it. It's funny. Enro is the dog science agency is going to crack down on the secret of interdimensional travel. The pun inside. Can't wait to see what comes next. Or... Hi there, friend. I sit behind this cool booth all day and help keep the airport safe. If you anything dangerous or weird while you're exploring, bring it back to me and I'll give you a reward. Or oh, anything you'd like to turn in today? Tell me more about this reward. For each ball, I'll give you a beach ball. This is cute. How can I tell if something is dangerous or illegal? I got something in the encounter before I direct That's back more than once. I like to do Awesome. Maybe because we are, but I don't think it's necessarily dangerous. Feel free to bring me anything you think I fit now. East White Dog. Very rewarding. Come back again. Got a beach ball for that weird heart that somebody gave me. Alright, we're looking for 508. There it is. I'm wearing this hat, but I'm not cool in the press yet. What gives? <gasps> Administrator dog! <laughs> no, just no. I'm tired, I'm filled with ennui, and if you can't get me fired up with love for the very top of life, I don't care if it's a fight. Just can't today, man. My fault. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're here long, job long enough. You know, for the bad thing, it happens. Like I said, I appreciate the sympathy. Let me know when you find something will get me fired up. When you do, I'll let you board. In this dog, right? Love sick dog, yeah. Alright, so I know where my boarding area is. It's it's at this one. Here in the weird Gothic zone. <gasps> I didn't see you. Honorary cat! Hey, I just became an honorary cat. I'm a cat girl now. It's the greatest day of my life. Congratulations! I've been working on my cat some for mind telling me what you think of it? I'd love to. Okay, this is taking a lot of work, so even if it's bad, please don't laugh, okay? Okay. Okay. Ahem. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog who is napping and probably dreaming about something late delicious. The cat nearby chose not to get involved. Which is get scratches, etc. So, what do you think? Think a little bit. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for your honest feedback. I want to take the title that was entrusted to me seriously. Hey, you really helped me out, even though you didn't have to. I become an honorary cat. I got a unique bolt of yarn. It's civil trust. It's pretty important. Well, I want to give you some of my yarn. You're awesome. I think you deserve it. Thing is, I need to make sure I only give it to someone good. I could hurt a lot of good folks if I mess this up. Just to make you sure. Are you a good person? Yes, I think I am. Humidity, the humidity is lovely. I'd pretty sure a clear answer though, please. Alright, I'm a good person, yes. Fantastic. It's nice finding someone to trust like this. Thanks for roasting my faith in good people doing great things. Oh, thank you. I got silver yarn. Alright. Alright, I didn't get my passport yet. To go to the, the passport guy. Talk with a safe guy. Hey, standard dog. There are two more dogs that I haven't talked to, I guess. Hey, medicine, sure thing. How sick are you feeling? On a scale from one to eight extremely large bottles of pills. Just one sec, thanks. Here you go, man. Hope this helps. What do I owe you for all this help? Wait. What do you owe for getting medical attention? Like, what, am I charging? Oh well, yeah. I'm not going to charge you for helping you get better, dude. You're a doctor, not a monster. Yeah, how long have you been practicing? Dude? I try, try to practice a little bit every day. That's how you get better at things. Ah, uh, no, but seriously. I've got over a decade of experience. Do not question me. Saying hello before I get back to traveling. I appreciate it. Come back anytime. You ought to save me. 
Also. Dann. Photo booth, give them the, the, or the bottle of water. I have so much items, including actual gun. My passport. All right, find the time zone. I think the time zone's over here. Go to like four or wait, I guess. Give us an hour to get back to the. No, there's no time zone here. Oh, the skateboard does make you faster. That's Be in the big shopping zone then. Oh. All right, let's zoom to those airport. Maybe the departure terminal. Hope I'm going to the right place. Swing. I'll probably call it because I am uh, tired, more tired than I thought I would be. Still trying to fix my sleep a bit, as I always am, you know. Pepper dog. Looks trod around like everyone's gonna stay at the same pepper. Not me. I want to storm a comic. I need help to get supplies. I need an umbrella. If you could bring me one, I'd greatly appreciate it. I mean, I've never seen it rain in a dog park. Just because you've seen it. Or it doesn't need to be seen to happen. I'm prepared. Prepare it, son. Sooner or later, all of our stories get an ending. Hey, Pepper dog wants the umbrella. Do you need an umbrella for the coming storm yet? I don't mean to be impolite. Sooner or better for both of us. I'm for you. Well, how about that? Right, sturdy umbrella for the end of all things. Thank you. Maybe for one night, this dog, old dog, can rest well. Thanks again for your dog. Drums are coming. I'm afraid. Prepare you. Pad is drunk and ready for takeout. Have your boarding pass ready. Not drunk as we'll have a good plan. Oh, you don't understand. Our pads have to be drunk. They're dogs. The sky's so big and they are so small. I'm sure you know what you're there doing. Thank you for your trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. Your one job is to bear with You are helping. Sure you supplied your, my, whatever my associate needs, and please have a wonderful flight. All right. 
Let's go see what this next past crap shows me. <laughs> Pilot. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is your pilot speaking. I'm a dog. You're here. Who's flying the plane? Gosh. No one flies the plane. Doesn't need a pilot. It just needs. Buddy, friend, want to hear about shoals? You know what? I do. When I was in pilot school, they told me uh, how many souls were on the plane. 50 shoals, 100 shoals, 200 shoals. They left someone out. They left me out, buddy. I've seen too much, buddy. They won't let me leave. The plane flies on its own terms. Never go in when we get there. I won't have a soul. I won't leave. There's nothing left to save. What? Anyway, thank you for flying with us. Please enjoy your flight. Ah. Uh, you need to stop flying planes. Wow. I don't think this is the Mariner Trench. I believe we were in Elfland, in fact. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna hit save. Oh. Oh, poor Rodney. Uh, I hope I don't miss, miss it forever. Uh, yeah. Oh, planet. Pilot dog. I made the life of a pilot is deeply desperately terrifying. Alright. Save. I hope everybody has a lovely time. Uh, you know, you can check my socials. All my links at screamjones.card.co. Card with two R's. And yeah. Have a lovely evening.